Hey everybody, Daily News Sports Editor Eric Grover here, and we got a Grovecast extra for you this week. Uh, it's a little wind blown, but I hope you guys can uh, enjoy my interview with Wapton baseball coach Wade Gilbertson on his team preparing to head to the state tournament in Mandan. Enjoy, uh, Coach. How how have you uh, how would you describe the thing the way things have gone for this team uh, so far this year? It's uh, it's been a bit of a roller coaster this season. At least, I don't know if our players were as prepared for it to be a roller coaster. Um, I think a little bit at the beginning of the season, we came into that season a little bit uh, overconfident. Mm -hmm. And um, we dropped a few games that we feel like we should not have dropped. Mm -hmm. And I think that kind of woke us up a little bit. Why why was it such a roller coaster? Why was it like that? You know, I think that uh, the East Division was really strong this year. There were a lot of baseball teams that brought back a lot of good players. And I I think that, that was the main reason why. There were a lot of good teams out there. And if you got the right matchup or you got the wrong matchup, then that could very easily depend, uh, that, that could very easily depend on that. Uh, and so I, I really do think that this was one heck of a tough conference this year. And, uh, and we rebounded very nicely to make a very nice season out of it. Uh, we beat everybody in the EDC once, including Fargo North, and ended up going to state. So uh, with that said, I think that they... Uh, I think it was a roller coaster season because of that, um, because we were a little bit overconfident, because everybody uh, was really tough. I thought in the EDC this year, they really were. We had to kind of, we had to kind of work through that, and we had to kind of uh, make sure that we were healthy at the end of the year and make sure that we were playing our base, best baseball at the end of the year, because we knew that going into that tournament, in a three-day tournament, that the, the best teams will come out on top. Mm -hmm. I firmly believe that. So. So is that one of those things where you know it was it was shaky the whole way, but you made it through it, and now that's a good thing because you've been tested. Absolutely, absolutely. And and to say the word shaky is, is I don't know if that's the right word for it either because we, we we played good baseball at times, but there were times too when I thought even three quarters of the way through the season I thought we still haven't played our best baseball yet, and we were working on it and we were developing our team into playing their best baseball at the end of the year. Um, and again, yeah, like I said, knowing. Uh, knowing that we had a lot of those tough games during the season against some good competition, had all the confidence in the world that we were going to be one of the top four teams out of the EDC tournament because we had been so well tested because we had such a good group of guys who worked hard all year. At the beginning of the season, it was, it was the pitching, which is what made the team go. Is that where it still is? It still is, absolutely. There's no question that uh, if we can pitch and we can play defense, we can beat anybody in the state, I think. Uh, that's, what, that's what our strong suit is going to have to be. Yep. Uh, how have you felt about the the defense? The, the errors are, are going down uh, as time goes on. Why is that? I think guys are getting a little bit more comfortable in the position that they're in. Um, and uh, guys are getting a little bit more seasoning as the season goes on. They're getting a little bit more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I think that's part of the reason. And we're, 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 we're practicing harder. We're practicing better. And, uh, and, and it's... It's all falling into place right now, and at exactly the time we want it to. How are your uh, seniors acting uh, in the dugouts during practices right now? Do they feel that sense of urgency? Are they acting like leaders? Yeah, I think they, uh, I think t to a man, every single one of them are uh, are taking on a leadership role on this team, and even the juniors are taking on a leadership role on our team. We we talked in the middle of the season about the last thing that you would do for Wapen High School as a senior. School is out, and all your sports are done. Graduation is done. This is the last thing that they're going to do as a Husky. And then I, I said that to the seniors to make the seniors realize that. And then, of course, I challenged the juniors to uh, to try and put themselves in their shoes in about 12 months from now, and, and try and realize what it would be like to be going through that right now. And uh, I think that both our seniors and our juniors as well have really taken on a leadership role here in the last couple of weeks. And I'm very proud of the way that we've banded together as a group of players. Um, right now, these guys, as we look out here, they could probably be practicing on their own right now. They could probably be doing all of these things, and they would probably be doing them just as intently right now if we weren't here. And that's that's a good thing. I mean, that's what we want the season to come to. We want we don't want to make it, obviously, mundane, and we don't want to make it boring and stuff like that, but these guys know what they need to work on, and they know how to work on it. How difficult was that EDC tournament for you guys emotionally, 
physically the whole shebang? I think it was a great test. I do. I uh, We go into that tournament and we try to preach to the guys that uh, this is the best time of year. Mm-hmm. Everybody is zero and zero. Everybody's got an equal chance. And everybody is just two wins away from making it to the state tournament. And uh, what could be more exciting than that? Mm-hmm. And uh, I think it was a great test for us to go into that tournament and, uh, and to try and prove that we were one of the top four teams in the EDC, knowing that we had the talent that we have, that we were going to uh, we were going to work it all out in a three day tournament. Yeah, how is have you seen Gripentrog elevate his game just even in these last few weeks here? Yeah, I have. Uh, ever since ever since the West Fargo game that we won here at home, um, I've seen. Uh, well, let me just backtrack a little bit more. This year, this whole season, I've seen. Uh, a lot of growth out of him, uh, not only physically, of course, but also mentally and spirit-wise. He has been—he's uh, been a horse for us, and he's—he's uh, uh, he's, he's gained a lot of confidence in his abilities now as an upperclassman. And ever since that West Fargo game, even though he didn't get the win in that game because it went to extra innings and we had to pull him out early, ever since that game he pitched well against them. He has. Uh, uh, he's been in total command of himself emotionally and, of course, in total command physically as well of all his pitches. So it's been fun to watch him grow. How difficult has this year been for Jeremy? Kind of, I want I don't want to say a reserve role, but he's used to being on the mound and winning games. Yeah. It, it's been kind of different for him. It is a different mentality, that's for sure. And it's something that, you know, we even I had, uh, had a couple of my assistant coaches comment the other day that, when I went to take him out of the game on Saturday, he's not used to that. Uh, I can't remember the last time I had to go out and take him out of a game because I didn't think he was going to get the job done. Um, I had all the, have all the confidence in the world in him, though I really do. I still know that that, that heart of a lion is still in there. Mm-hmm. There's no question about it. We just got to sometime, we just got to fix a couple of things, uh, get him right in mind, get him right mentally, and, uh, and he'll be ready to go this weekend. But at the same time, as you asked the question, it has been. It has been a tough road for him. And, um, you know, this is an experience that he'll never forget. This is uh, this is going through the ultimate adversity, I think. Obviously, you know, there are greater tragedies in life compared to what he's gone through. But this is a heck of an adversity that he has gone through and has had to overcome. And I think that he's going to become a better person because of it and a better baseball player in the future because of it. He's fought very hard to become the player that he once was. And I still do believe that he can become the player that he once was. Um, and, and we have all the confidence in the world in him, like I said, we're going to, uh, we're going to put him out there in the day tournament as well and see what he's got. So. Who's the most unsung senior in this team? And why? That's a good question. That's a very good question. You know, I think we've got a, 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 we've got a number of uh, starters. You know, we're going to have Jeremy Bonch, this is going to be an anchor. Um, we've got Carson Miller, who's an anchor for us, and Preston Kath, who's an anchor for us. Those three guys have played a lot of baseball games for us over the course of four years. But then we've also got some other seniors on the team who have been role-playing guys. Like Thomas had two bases. Travis Thomas, the other day. Nick yeah. Holcup, uh, 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 Cooper Kraus. Uh, Travis Thomas the other day, um, we had a feeling as coaches that he was going to come into uh, excuse me. We had a feeling that he was going to come into the tournament. He was going to be ready to play. He got a couple of uh, pinch hit appearances on Friday night and got a base hit. And then we decided that we would start him in that game on Saturday. And uh, one of our big rallies that we had was started by him with a leadoff base hit. Um, to his credit, he has worked hard all year long, and uh, he has tried to get into that lineup on a regular basis all year long, and, uh, and his hard work paid off for us on Saturday. It really did. Do you feel confident in the heart of your lineup now with Gillis right there in the middle, driving him in? The, I do. I've seen the offense improve. Can you talk about that? It has. I mean, uh, at the beginning of the year, I know, I think I told you, and uh, and I felt this way, that when we went to Sioux Falls, we were, we were a mess at the plate because we had no plan, we had no approach. We were just up there trying to see ball, hit ball. And many times that's what you try to do, but you try to clear your mind and just see ball, hit ball. But, but also we've, we've, we've tried to teach right approach or the right mental set and we didn't have that earlier in the year uh, now that we've progressed and we've had a number of at bats uh, and the, the guys have begun to to gain a better approach at the plate uh, both physically and mentally and, uh, and and that's paid off a lot that really has and we've worked on them 
all year long on their execution at the plate, being able to hit behind runners, being able to move runners over, being able to get them in from third base uh, with less than two outs. We've preached execution, and our execution has been good this year, and that's part of it too is that we've kind of it's kind of been a culmination of our hard work all year long. There are times when we've struggled, but now as we've gotten a full season under our belts, heck, we've played 35 games, a full 35 games under our belts, we would expect us to, to be better at that if we worked on it all year long. And yeah. We're just seeing we're seeing some of the work that these kids have put in. We're seeing some of it start to pay off. What do you know about Williston? Very little, actually. Uh, uh, it's Coach Pinera's alma mater. I know that. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, he's tried to give us a little bit of a scoop, but uh, obviously we're not able to get much because it's so far away. We don't know as many people out there. Yeah. Uh, they were an eight seed. They were an eight seed. They were. And, but the, some of the reports I've gotten from some college coaches, though, too, is that um, they were an eight seed that had a lot of hard luck, uh, meaning that uh, they do have talents. Uh, they are a good baseball team. They just had some tough luck during the season. And uh, right now is the most important time of year, and this is when they're starting to play really well uh, you can throw I think you can throw all the seeds out the window right now because uh, if you're playing well at this time of the year you get uh, you get on a hot streak and you start gaining confidence you feel like you can beat anybody do you feel like you guys can beat anybody I do I absolutely do I believe that if we go in with the right mindset and we go in with the right energy I think that these guys can beat anybody in the state of North Dakota right now I'm not going to start counting chickens before they hatch or putting horse in front of the excuse me, putting cart in front of the horse or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But I just want to say that I have confidence in our young men and how they've worked so hard all year. Uh, I would put our entire program on par with others in the state of North Dakota, and I, I hope that they would go in with the same kind of confidence. I hope that they would go into the state tournament ready to ready to run through brick walls and yeah. bring home that big trophy. What's the theme this week for your guys? What's the motto? What, 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 what's the mindset? Right now, mm -hmm. um, why not us? Uh, that was our big motto yesterday in practice, and it was our motto last week as well. Why can't it be us? I mean, why not? And then the other motto is opportunity. This is such an incredible opportunity for these young men to uh, uh, to let their hard work pay off and to show what they can do on this type of a stage. So th those are our two big mottos over the last couple of weeks. Why not us and opportunity?